Hello everyone, Rob here, back with some more Unity tutorials. And today, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the full Unity and Maya How to Create a Pokemon Battle Video Game tutorial uh, that I started a while ago, almost a year ago. Uh, I finally finished the majority of it, and I want to share this with you guys. So first, in this video, I'm just going to show you the gameplay that I've programmed in and the characters that I've designed for this. So here I've just created a start screen, and you'll notice that the start screen here, when I change these different aspect ratios, the start screen is still visible. So I'm just going to put this in 16.9 for now. We're going to click start. I could choose a team of three Pokemon. You'll notice when I mouse over a Pokemon, this uh, white selector box appears over it. So I could choose any three, and then my opponent is going to get the other three, my opponent being the computer, the enemy AI. So I want to start off with Ho-Oh, then Dialga, and then Ivysaur. Now it's going to take a moment to load, and the computer will get those other three Pokemon. Well, we'll flash to get ready for a Pokemon battle. So here's where my Pokemon is actually being uh, called forth out of its Pokeball. So Ho-Oh is summoned. And now the enemy chooses Pikachu. So now we're on to the battle screen. I know this health bar is a little bit out of place, uh, but right here we have an image of the Pokemon, like a smaller image. We have the name, we have the current HP uh, out of the, the full HP, and we also have the green health bar. Right now I've made it where every Pokemon has two attacks they can perform, uh, and also the health bar is responsive as of now as well. So I could show you uh, exactly how that works in just a second. So let's say I choose Sacred Fire here. We're going to be flashed to an overview of them. Now you're going to see my Pokemon, Ho-Oh, attacking the Pikachu. So that's actually a particle effect in Unity. Now Pikachu, the enemy AI, is going to use one of his moves that he chose. And he chose Thunder. You'll see that cloud with this uh, lightning bolt there. And now the cloud is clearing up. I'm going to choose Sunny Day and show you what that does. So you'll notice that changed the skybox, so now it, it appeared sunny there when I had first did the move. And I could also make it uh, where it could last for a certain number of turns as well. Uh, but this was just for demonstration for now. Uh, I'll choose Sacred Fire again. And you'll see Pikachu is, keeps losing health. And uh, his health actually went into yellow, the yellow, and mine actually just did too. So I'll show you how to program that in. Uh, let me show you the sunny day again. So I know right now it looks kind of boring because we're both just using two attacks. Uh, and there Pikachu fainted. So that's the one part that I got to now. If I choose another attack, you'll see. Yeah, so now it sort of glitches out. But basically I have it where um, you could get through just about one, you basically one full round of battles uh, with one Pokemon versus another Pokemon. I want to show you how I created those effect particle attacks. Uh, or par Sorry, particle effect attacks. I want to show you how I actually uh, modeled and textured the Pokemon and brought them into Unity. And the different animations with the Pokeball and things. Uh, realize that this isn't perfect. Obviously, as I just showed you, there are still little glitches in it. Uh, you know, the full game isn't cohesively working yet. But I figure it's better to get this uh, to you sooner rather than later with uh, school coming up and being about to start. Uh, I want to get out about 20 to 25 videos on this. Uh, for anybody that's interested and I'll also make these assets available on my portfolio website uh, when it does come up I have a section for tutorials and you'll actually be able to go right to my website and download all those resource files but for now if you're watching this and I didn't put up the link on YouTube yet you could just email me and I'll just send you a zip folder of either like the entire game or just the Pokemon uh, you know whatever you want to facilitate your learning so, without further ado, uh, in the next video, I'll, we'll, I'll start showing you a breaking down how I actually made this game.